Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at uh, separating out the channels uh, of red, green, and blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and LAB into their separate layers, but using the channel mixer. So let's start off with this. We'll put on a channel mixer there, then we'll select the background there, the whole thing, and go Control J twice. So we'll do red, green, and blue from the top down. So first of all, red, we've got that there, that's okay. So we want just red in this top layer, so go to green and turn the green to zero. And this kind of snaps to zero, it is quite easy to get it down, so that's quite helpful. And blue, and there we go, there's a red layer. Let's turn that off, off so we can see. We want to get to green now, so we take out the red. And take out the blue, that leaves us the green. Let's turn that off so we can see the one we're doing. And we need blue, so red down to zero. And green to zero. There you go, so there's blue, so we'll put on the top two layers. Turn them on, click on the top one, and shift click to the next one down. And the blend mode is add. And there we go, back to our original. So let's go back to the beginning again. I'll do this for CMYK, and it's exactly the same principle as CMYK, just a different blend. So I'll go to a channel mixer, change the output channel here to CMYK, and now we'll duplicate that, Control J three times, so it's going to be CMYK. So from the top one, leave the cyan on. Go to magenta, take magenta to zero, go to yellow, and yellow to zero, and black to zero. And so there's our cyan, turn that one off, double click on this one, and now we're going to go magenta, so cyan to zero, yellow to zero and black to zero so here's magenta turn that off and yellow so it's and magenta to zero and black to zero we go this yellow and the last one is black so cyan to zero, magenta to zero, and yellow to zero. And that leaves us monochrome, which is always a useful image anyway. So let's turn those all on. And shift click to select the group. And then blend mode. And that goes down to multiply. And there we have the original. So, slightly different for LAB, as usual. So, back to the beginning. And we're going to, again, put on a channel mixer. Change the output channel here to LAB. And duplicate it twice, Control J. And so go to our top one for L, leave the L on here, go to A opponent, turn the A opponent down, but we're also going to turn the offset up, up to 50, so we'll just type that in. And then for the B opponent, same principle. The B opponent to zero and the offset to 50. There we go, and there we see we've got the black and white for the L. And a similar principle underneath. Let's turn that off so we can see it. So lightness to zero, offset to 50. And then we've got the, that one and we're doing A, so we just go to the A stays as it is, goes to B opponent, 
brings that down and offset to 50. There we go. And the last one, see what we're doing. We'll take the lightness down there because now we're doing B opponent, 50 in the offset. And go to A opponent, that to zero and offset to 50. And there we go. So now when we take the top two now, shift one and shift click that and the blend mode now is overlay. And as with doing it with curves, you don't get quite back to the beginning with this one, with LAB. So if I turn this down, see it's originally just a little bit lighter. So that's something to note when doing it this way. It's better to do LAB with channels, which we'll show another time. So anyway, that's enough. We've gone through all three models. So hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.